matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? Gotcha. We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us, we stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... Back boat. Yeah. <laughs> Strong and silent type. So do they. Going to fight Black Bolt. Anything back here? Oh, new music. Cool. It's cool that we lucked out with the randomizer and we got Crystal. And now there's Inhumans. What a quinky, coincidence. Quinky dink. Uh. For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Mm, not wrong there. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. Yeah, can you just not do nothing? I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Mm -hmm. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. Yeah, Gorgon. Cool. Time stone from the reality stone. Found the, uh, the mind stone. Which is the one that we got at the X X mansion. Is that power? Which stone was that? Hurry. We must deliver him to the infirmary at once. If we don't get Gorgon some help fast, oh, he's Gorgon. not going yeah. to make it. Thane! Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. Serious death issue. Go, big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or oh, hooves. <laughs> Some sort of amber. Intriguing. 
I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Hmm? Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. Oh. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. Mm -hmm. If you are lucky, you've never heard of him. Well, we have. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. It's like, it kind of looks like... <laughs> it's like, okay, good. there you have it. Uh, can't move the camera, so we'll just talk to everybody. Talk to everybody. Oh, hey there! How are you doing? Because I'm currently hanging out on the moon with the human royal family, and I'm totally trying not to freak out. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm an inhuman who lives in Jersey City. These are inhumans who live on the moon. There's a big difference. <laughs> not that I know of. But I do have their poster on my bedroom wall. <laughs> of course you do. Because I have school and the commute from the moon to Jersey kind of stinks. Ooh, unless they're willing to loan me lockjaw on weekdays. <laughs> I'll get right on it. You know, once our current universe shattering dilemma is all wrapped up. Fair enough. Oh yeah, this should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my voice shutters about this. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, yes. One second more. Well, do you have something to say? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. I do not. Despite popular belief, Thanos yeah. is not my true father. He slaughtered my species and took me from my home world, kicking and screaming. As he did to all his so-called children, myself and Nebula included. Some of his experiments were clearly more successful than others. No, I've never seen him before, but I have heard whispers of one true heir. Whispers Thanos himself desperately sought to silence. Hmm. Thanos worships death. To him, creating life is not an honor. It is an insult to his very nature. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea. But you will soon enough. Okay. Beast. Salutations, my tenacious teammate. Merely a hypothesis, but having the progeny of our nemesis as an ally could prove advantageous. Yeah. Indeed. In fact, it might become more beneficial in our quest than you can currently comprehend. Of course, I will need to run an in-depth analysis. Fear not. I once collaborated with the Inhumans to evaluate the effects of their Terrigen Mist on my fellow mutants. Much of my equipment is still here in Atalan. Yeah, okay. Performing scientific studies on the moon is not work. It's my furry blue dream come true. And that's why Beast is in a playable character. Yeah? <laughs> Wait, Dr. Gorian? Salutations, oh, Mike. I thought we were talking about Indeed. Sorry. So it's Medusa. My deepest apologies. Alpha Primitives. They were a subclass of the inhuman race, performing labor and other menial tasks. That is a harsh way of putting it. The Alpha Primitives merely do what they were designed to do. I have my suspicions, but I dare not believe them. Mm. 
think I know who they're referring to, maybe. How can I, I help think. you? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact. Seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orillon. Hmm. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. Okay. Only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Okay. Now what? Where am I? Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Batalan is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again. Hmm. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> Is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> yep, Maximus. I had a feeling. Firm, oh, he's got my armor to shield Gordon from further damage. You focus on the Alpha Primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you would dare betray our people. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? <laughs> ah, the silent treatment, as always. But I'll keep you something to talk about. Just you. <laughs> Maximus. Oh. Uh, it's should have grabbed the help. <laughs> you may have power, but you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. Turn to the throne room. The inhumans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter, but I guess this is my battle now. Okay. This isn't the first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even Avengers close. Assemble. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still not a nod to his family. They refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways.
haven't seen like any breakables or any kind of thing to pick up here, so hopefully I haven't missed anything. Oh, nice. That was with a Bristol's Earthquake. Can go back here and there's something a goodie no okay never mind okay maximus This should be an interesting change of pace. Your yeah, pathetic attempts to resist are almost Ow. adorable. But it's him. That was a robot. Quite a troll. Okay, I get it. I'd like to shoot your gun. That's an inverse shield. Ow. Just jump. Ow. <laughs> hey, get out of there. Pulls you in. lasers and avoid his Oh no, another bar. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I can't believe I did it again. Now what? If you're done, I have a city to run. Oh, get inside. Is about to expire. Over here. I can generate enough amber to protect you. Stay close to uh -huh. me. Oh boy. Your turn. 